Ooh-wee, what's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty stoked to bring you this knife because it, it's awesome. Um, so this is the Takumitak um, Companion. I already brought you um, one of their other knives, and it turned out to be awesome. Uh, we just did this one the other day. This thing is fantastic. So if this one is anywhere near as good as that one, this is going to be awesome. I will put the link to this down below, and you can check out some of their other designs. I'm already getting questions just from that first video. People are already asking me about three or four of their other designs, saying, when are you going to do this one? Um, it's because this thing is super awesome. Now, what made me really, really intrigued about this knife was when I came back from Blade Show, I told you all about a knife, and I said it was probably the world's most perfect knife design, and it's a Topps Knives called the Outpost Command. Now, what I want you to do is take a look at these grinds, take a look at this overall blade shape, overall grip shape. If that is a perfect design, check this out dropping stuff check this out look at the overall blade shape look at the grinds you can see where this fuller runs straight to uh, the bevel this one comes in to give it a full swedge that's the only difference up there the grips are pretty close inside grip to inside grip is all the way there this one has enough room on the end to hang out this one fits a hand absolutely snug and perfect this is basically the smaller brother of this and if i think this is a perfect design well then this isn't too far off so let's get into it because as much as i love this there's no way i can't love this i mean there's no way look at the angulation and in the pattern in these scales it is awesome it's beautiful it looks cool. It's super modern. The um, the grind, which is a beautiful flat grind, um, is absolutely perfectly done. These are CNC machined D2 pieces. You have a strap hole in the rear, a five millimeter thick piece of steel. You have um, multiple kinds of jimping, depending on how you plan on holding the blade and what you plan on doing with it. This thing is super nice. Let's get into the specs. Golly, I love looking at it. Um, all right, so we have an overall length of eight and three quarter inches with a four inch blade length, a four and three quarter inch, very, very nicely done, four and three quarter inch um, grip. Um, it is a molly clip included, and that's one thing I had to show you on their kydex sheath which does have the name uh right on there uh takumitak um oh and the other one was the takumi that's what it was takumitak takumi and this is the companion but again you have a very universal uh belt clip that you can scout carry if you like that is always a plus um it is a drop point a gorgeous drop point um it's 8.6 ounces it's D2. It has a 6162 Rockwell. Um, it is five millimeters thick. It is a flat grind with a plain edge G10 grips and Kydex sheath. I mean, it's just super, super awesome, man. This thing is crazy cool. Um, but what we need to do is just take it outside and, and play with it. Let's see. Now, like their other one I, wow that is just crazy sharp um all their blades come crazy shave sharp from the factory and that's one thing you can absolutely know trust and love about this knife company is that no matter what you know you're getting a sharp blade you know you're getting great edge geometry you know you're getting perfect grinds this thing is just awesome it feels so so nice and not only that it's just beautiful let's take it outside 
All right, so this thing absolutely needed to get seen in the sunlight. And uh, luckily, we are in between rain. I could see the clouds off in the distance on their way in. But, whew, look at this humdinger. Man, <laughs> look at that streak of sunlight going across. This thing, this thing, when you hear people, oh, that's a handsome piece. Oh, that's a, no, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. It is just right when it comes to size. Um, now, if you have a triple X hand, there's a good chance your pinky is gonna ride on top of this lip, which actually, the, if I put my hand back on there, it's, it's comfortable, it's still good. Um, for a double X hand, you can see where my hand is just on the edge of this. So I'm actually on the lip. It does, my hand, is massive so it's not going to fit in here to here like your hand would you see how my fingers would bow so this thing for everybody out there with small to extra large hands this thing is going and i mean small to extra large all the way through that parameter this thing is going to fit you like a glove my hand literally i put my pinky You'll see how there's a there's one, two, three. See how that little editor? My my finger is on this one, that nice flat spot. And for me, that right there is super nice. But when I put my fingers inside the well, I'm like, damn, that's actually really sweet. Um, another quarter inch in length here um, would make it like an any hand size inside the well. The good thing is. The way they do angulation here, instead of just leaving it round or or just one slant, they make it so like you can put your hand back for like a skinning or like a let go release. And it's where your hand wants to sit naturally. And these angles right here gives you points of contact that a lot of other knives with the same size um, handle won't give you. Now, luckily it's four and three quarters. So all of that right there provides. So even if you had like Shaquille O'Neal hands and and your, your fingers started way over here, um, you're still, because of that angulation, you still, even from here, I'm on, I'm on that grip and I have all four fingers on, even if I went below the, um, that finger well. So that's pretty good for us big, big guys. Um, we still have a great grab on this. For you smaller guys, and I'm talking smaller as in slightly smaller to all the way small, this might be the greatest knife you ever put in your hand. And that's not me being nice. This is an amazing feeling knife. All right, so let's uh, get rid of some of that. It's in the way. Let's do some four foot gravity drops and we'll see how the bite is with that swedge. Woo! That's nice. That's actually really nice. Boop. Really, really nice. All right, so that dove in more than a half inch. Let's do some hard downwards. Bam! That bites in there. You can see how far it went in. Bam! <laughs> okay, it's in there. Ugh. Wow, that went in super freaking deep. Um, that is a sweet knife. All right, let's do a, a push cut on the half inch nylon rope. Man, that jimping feels really good. Um, and of course, just a push cut without having to saw through, no problem at all. There's my extension cord end. Now, even though this isn't a long chopping knife, um, because of the way the grip is formed, we should be able to get enough swing to make a super clean cut on the extension cord no problem let's see here what about medium chops look at this look at this hold it still man that's actually pretty good wow i just bit straight in there Ugh. that's not bad for a knife this size, for a blade this length, um, that's really good. But this is going to be, you can use this thing anywhere from your EDC knife. 
your skinning knife, your hunting knife, your basic camp knife. Obviously, you would want a bigger knife for for full chops, but this is going to be that great size, perfect camp knife. This could be a law enforcement knife. They sell it with a black coating, and you can use this thing as a military style knife. Um, you can use this as a self defense knife. This thing is just all around the board. It's just it's a multi purpose knife. It's just freaking awesome. You know, what? before we walk out of here, let's take the uh, fuel line, the nylon infused fuel line, and we'll just give it a sweet push right there. And then we will dice it up and make little tiny squares because it can. This knife is sweet. This knife is so, so nice. All right, here we go. Here we go. Bam. <laughs> this thing is this thing is so super nice. Let's make sure there's um some tip strength here. We want to um, put it into the um into the wheelbarrow. I just want to put a dent now. We're not trying to go through the wheelbarrow. I'm gonna just see how the tip takes to this really hard plastic. Okay, so I guess we are gonna go through. That's the um, second knife I've done that with, where it went straight through. And as a matter of fact, I believe the other one was the Outpost Command. And it's another thing I didn't expect, but no tip damage. This thing is without flaw, just good looking, beautiful, beautiful knife. I went through the steel belt on this tire and I thought I saw a little damage on there, but it was a piece of steel from inside here that was on the edge and I just wiped it off. And I'll show you what I mean. You can see the steel belt in there. Oh man, this thing is this thing is really good. I literally thought I was like, oh, I got a little tiny something on there, and uh, I wiped it off, which means it wasn't on there. It was just, or it wasn't in there. It was on there. It was just a piece of the tire sticking to it. That's pretty freaking awesome. Woo, woo wee. I'm feeling it today, boys and girls. So let's uh, let's get over here. Woo, winded from walking. All right. Here we go. Let's go to my favorite test, the knife killer. <laughs> well, I guess we're not killing this knife. Um, plastic netting, the edge killer, not even close. Not even close. Golly, this thing feels, this thing feels so good. This is, this is going to become an EDC for me. And like my my D bad little big man and a few others, like my um, ADV box butcher, which is a fixed blade that I actually put in my pocket because of my ulti clip. This is going to be a um, this is going to be a regular carry, uh, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. I'm keeping this one. Um, this is a, a really really nice knife, and I mean really nice. Oh 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 oh. oh. For those of you who are new to the channel, <laughs> you're thinking, how's he winded walking across the yard? For those of you who know the channel, you know why. You know what's going on, but whoo wee feeling it. All right, let's see. Let's see. So we got to make firewood. You need kindling. Well, I think you're going to be okay with this knife. I think you're going to be A-O-K-A. This thing is sweet, man. It is so right in the hand. It is so right in the hand. It's just awesome. It is awesome. This isn't just a good knife. This is a great knife. Golly, I want to make sure you guys can see it all. I want to make sure you guys can see it all. We'll do some pull cuts. We'll go pulls. Look at that side grip. You got so much real estate there. Look at that. Look at that curl. That's edge geometry if I ever saw it. Um, so, so nice. So, so nice. So, yeah, are you going to be able to um, get your fire going? I, I think you'll have no problem. <laughs> I, uh, I not only think you'll have no problem, I know you'll have no problem. You can make a nest all day long with this stuff. This is awesome. So now I want to take some of this jimping and I want to see, speaking of nest... Oh, the fluff. Oh, the fluff. So, literally, I'm making a bunch of that 
and um, you'll see it there. That stuff right there, you hit that with your ferro rod, you get a bunch of it, that goes up quick and easy. So, so nice. Golly, this is a really nice knife. Really, really nice. All right, let's see here. What about skinning? Yeah, I think you're gonna be okay. I think you're gonna be okay. You just caught yourself a rabbit, caught yourself a squirrel, and you need to, you need to take off that pelt. Yeah, I think you're gonna be a-okay. This thing is just nice. Man, it feels so good. I, I, I need like, for you guys to understand, you gotta like put it in your hand. You just gotta put it in your hand and just understand it. I mean, whew, it feels good, man. It feels really good. So, the Companion by uh, uh, Takumi Tak. I have to say, this is winner, winner, chicken dinner right here. This knife, this knife is sweet. Um, I'm really excited for this one. This is going to be a regular. Uh, so far, both of theirs, both of the ones I've tested from them, have been outstanding. Um, way better than than I could have thought or imagined. Um, design wise, I knew they were going to be good because I saw photos, obviously. Um, but beyond that, I didn't know, uh, I didn't know they were going to work this good. I had no idea. So here it is, man. The companion Takumi Tak. This thing is super, super dope. All right. Follow the link below. Go get one of your own. It's cheap enough. I'll tell you that the, uh, the prices on these are really better than they could be. Um, fantastic. That's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donnie. Be all day. Till next knife.